In this video you get a compact overview of the latest Flutter and Dart package releases. From March 15 to 21 we had around 206 new releases. Let's have a quick look at the top 10 in terms of likes. Number 10 and the first package of this week is called Chips Input. A Flutter widget to create an input with multiple chips that can be selected from suggestions. This reminds me a lot of the chips input widget from the Flutter form builder package and if you want to create a fully functional form in Flutter feel free to check out my tutorial on Flutter form builder. You can find the link in the info card at the top right corner. Number 9 is called Squirrel which lets you create installable desktop apps for Windows 7 and above and even implement an auto update functionality. Number 8 is called Flutter Calendar Week, offering a customizable Calendar Week widget. Number 7 is called Stamp Image, which is a library to create a watermark using any widget. You can customize the position of the watermark and set multiple ones in one image. Number 6 is called Dart VLC, a media playback library for Dart and Flutter based on libvlc and libvlc++. Number 5 is called OpenCV4, which contains a collection of OpenCV modules. OpenCV is an open source library for computer vision and image processing. Number 4 is called Flutter Advanced Calendar, by the same publisher of Flutter Advanced Avatar from the previous release week. This package provides a calendar widget and comes with a rich API for widget customization for a new look and feel in your app. Number 3 is called Emoji Picker Flutter, a Flutter package that provides an emoji picker widget with over 1500 emojis in 8 categories. Number 2 is called Curved Splash Screen, a splash screen with a curved bottom sheet and dots indicator. You can add your custom splash screens and change any color of the items of the bottom sheet. The number one of this week has 28 likes and is called Textless, enabling you to display text elements without the use of a text widget. Just use a simple string and then customize your text using the dot notation. For example, dot h1 to create an h1 text. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you very much for your attention, have a great week and see you soon!